do you know God or do you just say you know God? Knowing God is having a real relationship with him where you talk to God, get quiet, and then he talks back to you through visions, through dreams, through an inward witness. He'll speak to you verbally. That's knowing God. And this is Christianity 101. As a licensed spirit-filled spirit nurse, I'm noticing a trend of believers in Christ Jesus. Not knowing how to hear from God. They don't know the voice of God. How do I know this? Because many of you have taken the injection that's giving a lot of side effects related to the COVID-19, uh, death for some, Bill palsy for some, paralyzed um, limbs for some, flu-like symptoms, feeling like you're gonna die with the second injection. Many of you are having hemorrhages, bleeding of the brain, um, spontaneous nosebleeds. Um, women who are not, who were menopause are coming back on their menses. I mean, the list goes on and on and on, and God is not in any of that. And if you had a real relationship with the Lord, where you allow God to talk back to your spirit in your quiet place, you would have got clear instructions from God not to put Satan's death serum in your body. So a message came in my heart to deal with this topic because it's not being discussed. Um... There are churches, so-called churches, allowing the death serum to come into people that belong in the congregation, uh, in the community. I'm talking about people who say they know the Lord. And I'm just saying to myself, Lord have mercy, is the blind leading the freaking blind. To, the, to an early grave. And there's nothing I can do but besides put messages together, tell people the truth, and pray that people will develop a real relationship with God and not all this fake and phony stuff. I mean, you could be in church for 50 years and not know God. You could be in church for 60 years and not know God. If you don't go to God and know how to pray and get quiet in your, in your prayer time and allow God to speak back to you and get direction from God through the Holy Ghost, if you don't know how to do that, you don't know God. How you going to know God and you can't hear instructions from him? You can't hear warnings from God. How you going to know? How do you know God? And you just walk right into the trap. Believe in the lies of the enemy. Satan just sitting there lying. And he put a lot of people in that trap. And for the people who created the injections, we know what that's about. And then for the people who are pushing the injections, we know what that's about. Some kind of way money is involved. Money and manipulation and controls them all somewhere. So I just wanted to come today and ask everyone to get to know your father in heaven for real and stop playing. Stop playing. Because you're making dangerous decisions that not only are going to hurt your life, but you're going to hurt other people that you're around. I can tell you right now, as a licensed nurse, everybody that has been vaccinated, they are transmitting different variants to 
other people that they come in contact with. You're not going to ever hear that on the news. They're not going to tell you that. But God is telling you right now what's really going on. God's way does not include hurting the human body, killing people, putting uh, Bell's palsy on, in people, paralyzing people. That's not God. Uh, God does not. He is not in agreement with destroying the immune system. He is not a part of any of that. And if you really knew God, you wouldn't know that. You don't know God. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks ministry. I'm asking everybody who sees this message to get into your prayer closet. Talk to God. Get quiet. Let God talk back to your spirit. He'll either give you a vision. He'll give you a dream. He'll give you a download. He'll speak to you verbally. But don't you ever do anything to your body until God tells you what to do. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks ministry. And I was watching uh, parts of the news this morning at my um, dining room table as I prepared to get on my uh, work computer. And I saw that the CDC did admit that there are reports that young males are developing heart disease, myocarditis, heart problems, four days after the injection. That is not God. Do you understand me? God's way is vitamins, minerals, probiotics, eating right, exercising, fasting, and praying. That's God's way. God does not create heart problems with people and all the list of other ailments that I just listed to you. God wants you healthy. He wants your soul to prosper. He wants you to be blessed. God does not endorse sickness of any kind. Do you understand me? You should get to know your father in heaven. Get to know him for real. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry.